Hey, what's up guys, it's Wester here. And I just want to let you all know that you should stick around to the end of the video, as I've made a message that I'd like to give to you all about my previous video, the mistakes I've made, and the improvements that I'm going to start making. But before all of this, I'd like to make my opinions on the whole Battlefield vs COD thing clear. We see this every time there's a new Battlefield game released, where the two fan bases collide and a huge internet war starts. And up until now, these arguments have amended to nothing, with both games doing incredibly well. However, in pure sales, Call of Duty has always come out on top, and there are a lot of people saying that this year, it's going to change, and that Battlefield is going to top out in the sales wars. But to be honest, I'm not really sure who will. I mean sure, there are a shit ton of dislikes on the Infinite Warfare trailer, and the new Battlefield game looks amazing for sure. I mean, the community has begged for boots on the ground warfare and a return to a simpler time, and whilst Battlefield has listened to what the community said, Call of Duty has taken a leap in the opposite direction, quite literally, into space. But the thing is, it is a Call of Duty game, and people are going to buy it. I know that I'll be buying both of these games because I'm a huge fan of both the Call of Duty games and the Battlefield games. They are possibly my two favourite game series at the moment, and both for very different reasons, so why wouldn't I buy both of them? They are two games, both from a series I love, and I'm going to give them at least a shot before slamming down a dislike on a trailer. Sure, Battlefield 1 looks unbelievable, it's what we've all been asking for, but one thing that people seem to forget is the people who aren't exactly hardcore gamers. Chances are, if they've just played one of the games in the past, they're going to end up getting the next one for Christmas, just because of the popularity that the Call of Duty brand has amassed to. And just because the trailer has a ridiculous amount of dislikes, people are still going to buy it. So the sales numbers for COD are definitely going to go down this year, there's no denying that. But it doesn't mean that Battlefield will win out over COD. However, the sales numbers are going to be close and there's no real way that we can tell who will win out until the games are released, or at least we get to see more gameplay trailers. So here's my summed up opinion on both of these games. So far, I can't really see anything wrong with the Battlefield 1 trailer apart from the fact that it's called Battlefield 1. Perhaps it's just me, but the name really annoys me. The graphics, even though they are only an engine, are absolutely stunning, and we are expecting to see a return of the previous types of gameplay from previous Battlefield games. This is great, as we are not missing out on anything we love, but are still getting to try the game out in a new setting with new environments, vehicles, weapons, and whole new experiences. Call of Duty, however, is still pushing boundaries over the top even more, spreading its gameplay into space. While the trailer did impress me, it was nowhere near to the extent that I would have liked. The graphics were average, but in all honesty, graphics don't make a game and have never been a buying point of any other COD game in the past. What does upset me a little though is the jump into space. The exosuits and advanced warfare were cool, but just a little tad over the top. And with Black Ops 3, Treyarch took notice of what the people said and toned down the jump packs in their game. But now, Infinity Ward have taken it up to another level with space combat. And it will be interesting to play, no doubt about it. But I feel like it will get boring after a while, and won't really suit the style that a fast paced arcade shooter like Call of Duty has brung before. So I am more excited for Battlefield than I am for COD this year. However that doesn't mean I'm not excited for Infinite Warfare. And something that people need to realise is that not all of these dislikes on the trailer are proper dislikes. A lot of them are just people jumping on the hate train, as many of the comments have shown. So while there may be a lot of dislikes on the trailer, that doesn't mean that the game won't fly off the shelves. It will, just a lot less than we've seen before. Possibly even less than Battlefield. But that's really just my opinion from what I've seen of the two trailers, and I will definitely be picking up both games when they are released. And now, I just want to finish off by doing a quick little channel update. So previously, the way I would run my channel was pretty simple. I would play games just as I would without YouTube, and grab footage from anything I found amusing to make into a video. And I went on like that for a while, until I realised that I would need to make more frequent weekly uploads if I wanted to grow any faster. So I began to rush the funny moments montage videos and not put as much effort into them as I did with the previous ones. And that began to show, as I believe there was a stage where the quality of my videos started to go down. I also started making little commentary videos, but I was never really proud of these. The reason I did these was that if I had nothing to upload at the end of the week, I would just go and record something without scripting or planning it, and then upload it as a commentary. Now because of this, I was able to upload these whenever I had nothing else to upload, and they were just last minute's jobs. And the quality suffered, and I was never able to be proud of them. But I think I hit a turning point last week where I uploaded a video about the amount of dislikes on the Call of Duty Infinite Warfare trailer. This was a real last second thing. I literally wrote down some dot points, recorded it, grabbed some gameplay I had lying around on my hard drive, and then uploaded it within half an hour. And because of this, there was no real point of the video. The whole thing was just me rambling on about the facts without adding anything to them or giving my own opinion. This was because the video was rushed and had no planning whatsoever, causing me to receive many dislikes, but I'm actually glad it happened. I see it as a bit of a wake up call to be honest, so I'm going to try something new. Instead of on the last day thinking, shit, I don't have anything to upload, better make a quick little commentary, I'll set myself tasks at the beginning of the week. 
Every week I'll have a different subject ready to talk about and have it listed down, and I'll also spend some time working on the script during the week. This way, I'll be able to prepare and proofread my ideas before they are even recorded, ensuring that the finished product is of higher quality. I'll also continue to make my funny moments montage videos, and because I won't be rushing them out as fast as I can, I'll make sure that I have time to collect more amusing clips and not rush the editing process. So this video has been my first fully scripted commentary, and I hope it's gone a lot better than the last one. So if you think it has, be sure to drop a like. If you didn't, then you can dislike the video, and please leave a comment on how I could improve. Constructive feedback is the best feedback as it allows me to better myself and make better content for you. Anyway guys, if you've made it this far through the video, thank you very much. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't for more videos every week. Leave a comment on what you think of the video and what I should do next. Thanks so much guys, we'll see you next week. Cheers.